ஹலோ அண்ட் வெல்கம் டு அதர் நியூஸ் இட் இஸ் தேர்ட்டீன் சண்டே மார்ச் டூ தௌசண்ட் சிக்ஸ்டீன் அண்ட் திஸ் இஸ் தவ் ராஜா மயூரன் வித் நியூஸ் ஹைலைட்ஸ் ஆஃப் டுடேஸ் இங்கிலீஷ் டைலிஸ் ஆஸ் யூஸ்வல் லெட் மீ ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஹேவ் லுக் அட் த நியூஸ் ஹைலைட்ஸ் த டுடே சண்டே டைம்ஸ் கரீஸ் த நியூஸ் அட் த டாப் சைஸ் ஸ்ரீலங்கன் டெலர் ஹெல்ப்ஸ் பஸ்ட் வேர்ல்ட்ஸ் பிகஸ்ட் பேங்க் ஃப்ராட் ஸ்ரீலங்கன் அத்தாரிட்டிஸ் ஹேவ் லான்ச் அ மேசிவ் ப்ராப் இன்டூ அ டவியஸ் என் ஜியோ ஹியர் தட் ட்ரை டு ஸ்னீக் இன் மில்லியன்ஸ் ஆஃப் யூஎஸ் டாலர்ஸ் டாலன் பை சைனீஸ் பேங்கர்ஸ் ஃப்ரம் த பங்களாதேஷ் சென்ட்ரல் பேங்க் கவர்மெண்ட் ஆஃபீஷியல்ஸ் ஹியர் செட் அடிங் தட் திஸ் இஸ் பார்ட் ஆஃப் அ குளோபல் கிராக் டவுன் ஆன் அ மணி லாண்ட்ரிங் ஸ்கேம் த நியூஸ் பிலோ இட் சேஸ் ஜாயிண்ட் பிளான் டு ரிவைவ் சைனா பே ஆயில் ஃபார்ம் some 85 huge oil tanks currently left unused at china bay oil farm in trincomalee are to be revived if cabinet approval is given for a request made by the petroleum resources development ministry ceylon petroleum corporation chairman tc jayasinghe said yesterday that the ministry hoped to use 15 of the tanks for bunkering and the storage facilities while the remaining 70 would be hired out to joint venture involving the cpc and ceylon petroleum storage terminal limited and the langa indian oil corporation and the story says prices of bakery products going up bakery owners are considering an increase in the prices of flour based products after prima wheat flour prices were increased by 7.2 rupees a kilogram yesterday all ceylon bakery owners association president nk jayawardena said bakers would face heavy losses with the imposition of new taxes and they would have no options but to raise prices of bread and other flour based products News at the bottom says Maldivians here napped for multi-million cyber sex crimes. Two Maldivians based in Colombo are alleged to have blackmailed their country's politicians, private sector executives and businessmen and extorted millions of rufiyas, CID detectives said yesterday. They said the probe was launched after a Maldivian private sector executive complained to the CID that the racketeers had allegedly demanded Maldivian currency equivalent rupees 9.8 million as protection money to stop posting a nude video clip of him on the internet. The alleged racketeers were arrested from a Dehwala hotel where the CID found two laptops which contained similar video clips of more than 100 persons including five active politicians in the Maldives. with that story let us move to the news highlights of today's sunday observer the headline says sri lanka linked to 81 million us dollars cyber heist sri lankan authorities are investigating the 81 million us dollars cyber heist of bangladesh central bank money from the federal reserve of new york in the backdrop that millions of us dollars were to be transferred to a colombo based ngo bank account while the hackers succeeded in transferring 81 million US dollars to a bank account in the Philippines successfully the attempt to transfer 20 million US dollars to a Sri Lankan non-profit organization Shalika Foundation failed due to a typographical error the financial investigation unit of the central bank and the CID will conduct investigations on the involvement of Sri Lankan NGO which was registered recently and the story says Day of National Mourning Mahanayaka Thera's cremation today the cremation of the most venerable Galagama Sri Athadasi Bidana Mahanayaka Thera will take place this evening at the Asgiriya Police Grounds with full state honors the government has declared today as a day of national mourning as a mark of respect to the late Mahanayaka the national flag in all government institutions will be flown at half mast and all taverns and meat shops in the candy town will be closed today and the news says the 13 tamil prisoners on hunger strike at the new magazine prison have called off their strike following an assurance that their cases would be individually investigated by the attorney general's department on march 23 Minister of Prison Reforms Rehabilitation Resettlement DM Swaminathan told the Sunday Observer. And the news says UPFA looking for alliance. The UPFA hopes to form a strong alliance to contest the upcoming local government elections and many parties have unofficially informed the UPFA secretary of their consent to unite with UPFA. UPFA Central Secretary Mahinda Amaravira said. The news beside it says on the spot drug detection for errant drivers. In the wake of increasing narcotic use by errant bus drivers on long distance buses the police will purchase on the spot narcotic detecting machines to take actions against the suspects DIG traffic Amrasri Senarana said and the news says expedited child abuse cases one caught day a week 
The Committee of Child Security has made recommendations to allocate one court day a week to expedite child abuse cases, State Minister of City Planning and Water Supply Sudarsini Fernando Pillay said. With the story, let me have a quick glance on the news highlights of today's Ceylon Today. Whose headline writes Rs 2 billion JEDB mega land scam. Unfolding right now in Colombo's drawing rooms is the latest stink relating to a major land scam involving a 273 perch extent of prime land belonging to the Janata Estates Development Board that is on the card to be leased out for a comparative pittance. The news below it says it's not me as Kabir says Navin. Plantation Industries Minister Navin Desanayake when contacted by Ceylon today about this alleged land grab said he was not aware of such a deal. The Janata Estates Development Board does not come under my ministry. It comes under the Ministry of Public Enterprise Development. So you will have to ask Minister Kabir Hazim Desanayake said. Another story says Kabila Vijayawardena reveals cricket secrets why did Malinga resign. Sri Lanka cricket team is now in India to take part in the T20 World Cup. However, Sri Lanka's star bowler Lasith Malinga is still here due to a leg injury. The selection committee headed by Arvind D Silva has decided to include him too in the team. We met chairman of former selection committee Kapil Vijayawardena to inquire why the Sri Lankan team failed to perform well at the Asia Cup and the other crises in Sri Lanka cricket. Likewise all the headlines in the front page highlights the articles given inside the paper. With the message I am wrapping up today's news highlights join us tomorrow to have a nice holiday goodbye.